Who makes sure that AI projects succeed? Today's business is complex. Business leaders have to set strategy by understanding the market, scope the right products and services, and manage business performance. They also have to give direction to their teams to manage operational processes, to build business capabilities, and leverage data. All this to deliver value to the customer who pays for the products and services they receive. To support much of this, businesses use software and systems. Engineers build the environment by implementing software applications that run on hardware, use data, and allow users to interact through a user interface. The security and performance of the system has to meet the business needs to drive business operations. A few years back, this system building process was done using a waterfall approach of getting all the requirements first, clarifying and finalizing it, designing the whole system, implementing it, testing it, and finally deploying it into production. The cycle often took years and resulted in monolithic systems. So the agile methodology is how we deliver a little bit of value at regular intervals instead of the business having to wait for a long time. New architectural approaches like microservices also help the agile methodology work better because new microservices can be added over time. People like the CIO or IT architect helped to keep the business people informed of what was going on in the technology area. These people understand both business and technology and translate between the two. Then a new paradigm came along. Business leaders wanted to jump in on the AI machine learning bandwagon. Here, the foundational way of software delivery changes. Data becomes the foundation. Data that are in different formats and repositories across the enterprise has to be gathered, munched, and cleaned. These then are fed into machine learning models that produce answers, which in turn drive business processes. But machine learning models can be fragile. If the underlying data changes, which most likely they will, Model behavior will change, giving wrong answers, which in turn will break the business processes. This causes what's called model drift. You might also want to add new data to the models, in which case you'll have to go through a whole retraining process. A small change in one place can change things everywhere. Unlike software methodologies, there are no mature and systematic machine learning methodologies. Teams are often new to the technology. Skills are also often new and many of the development processes are immature. All this means is we need people who can help the business understand a few things about machine learning development environments. For example, they'll have to be able to explain AI to the business and its nuances that it's not a silver bullet. Explain why data that we have is not enough to solve the problem business is looking to solve. Instill a change mindset and set the right expectations. Protect the data scientists and engineers from the business when results are not as expected. Be able to explain why Results can change over time or why the behavior seems erratic. Help business leaders be patient because often you don't know if a machine learning model will work at all. And even if it does, when? Roadmaps are difficult to set. And a few other things. This is a critical role and need in any organization that's working with AI. Yet, more people are often flocking to the study the details of machine learning algorithms and data. What we need is more people who can speak the language of the business, understand AI technologies, and be comfortable with data. If this role is not filled, we will continue to experience a disconnect between business 
and AI implementations, and a general disappointment on promised delivery. If you enjoyed watching this video, please consider subscribing to this channel where I discuss AI and architecture. Thank you.